We are here in Penang, Malaysia. Now this is our first time in Malaysia and a lot of people recommended one of the stops you have to make is Georgetown and that's where we are. And a lot of people also told us that we need to eat as much food as we can because there's a lot of great food here in Malaysia so we're going to be doing a little bit of that. If this is your first time joining us, I'm Brian, this is Carrie. The name of our channel is Brian and Carrie. Very clever, I know. Well, I came pretty up easy with to that. remember. Yeah. Now Georgetown is a melting pot of a lot of different cultures from all over the world. So we're going to go find some of them. I already noticed there's a lot of French colonial uh, architecture here. And there's also Chinatown. There's uh, Little, Little India. Little India. Yeah, you definitely see just a lot going on. And like Brian mentioned that there's a lot of different, I mean, there, Georgetown is known for their food. But one of the cool things about that is, is you're getting food from all those different culture yeah. so we're excited to maybe try some different foods They do have the bikes that you can rent. We've seen these in a few different locations here around town. So this would be kind of a fun way to get around as well. I'd like to come under the ice, ice. please. So we needed to stop and get some coffee. Normally we don't go out for coffee. We have coffee at our Airbnb. But for those people who always say, you guys always find the best Airbnbs and best locations and everything like that, it's not always true. So our 30 day Airbnb turned into a one night Airbnb and we are now at a hotel for a couple days. So anyways, here we are having a cup of coffee because we just had one little cup of uh, hotel coffee in the room. Now one of the things when you're walking around Georgetown is there's really these 
cool street art. Now I know some people are not a fan of street art. This is kind of a different street art. Correct. It's like kind of like an interactive street art, some of it. Um, so on the map, when you're looking at it, it will actually pinpoint for you certain ones that you want to go to take a look at. Right, now there is a difference between street art and graffiti. This is street art. This is street art. So we're on a mission we're, to go we're find gonna, them We're all. gonna go find Maybe them all. Maybe not all of them. them. Some of them. This is pretty cool. You can scan these and it will give you all the information you need to know about this sculpture. Now this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and this sculpture is representing immigrants that came over with all of their belongings and there's an official that's scrutinizing them and they're gonna figure out if they can get in or not. So that's kind of what it represents. It's pretty cool. Today is actually the start of Ramadan, and so that goes on for three days. And so we are noticing a lot of places are closed right now, so that's kind of unfortunate, but still plenty open to see. All right, and because our Airbnb was an epic fail, we're only gonna be in Georgetown for one day before we're moving on to Kuala Lumpur. Now, if you would like to hear more about our uh, Airbnb situation, well, let us know in the comments below, and we'll, uh, let me do a video about that. stopped and got some street food because right now it is too hot to sit down and eat a meal. I've been in dry heat and when they say dry heat is better than moist heat, they're right. I'm sweating like blazes. So we didn't stop and sit down yet, but we're going to. Instead I got this little pork, uh, barbecued pork roll. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, it's tasty. It's really good. Okay, so I went with something a little bit different, but I also got a barbecued pork one, just in case, because I don't know. So this is a corn custard, I don't know, roll. So we'll see. Mm. So I'll be honest, I'm not tasting corn whatsoever. What I am tasting is kind of a sweet roll with a really good custard inside. So it's kind of like a donut. Mm. <laughs> Oh, it feels so good in here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the air conditioning's free. We're just gonna live in here. 
<laughs> okay, so since we, Brian can't go get his beer, I can't go get my beer because it's just so expensive here. We have a deal that we are going to each pick out something that we have never tried before, some drink. So here we go. I don't even know what I got. I got Boom uh, Isotonic Vitamin C. And I just like the color of the can more than anything else. And the fact that the air conditioning was on in there, it took me 45 minutes to pick out this bad boy before she kicked me out. But here we go. It's not even that good. It tastes like a, it tastes like a, a really bad cotton candy, maybe. I don't know, I'm gonna drink it. Doesn't so, matter. So carry for the win? Carry for the win, yeah. Honestly, it's not even cold. I could have gotten a cold one probably. I think they just refilled the shelf and they stuck the warm ones in front. This Mine's isn't, ice cold. This isn't refreshing at all. <laughs> now I should have shown you the beer prices while we were in there. Beer is literally three times as expensive as it is in Thailand, four times the amount it would be in Vietnam. So uh, there you go. That's why I got this uh, boom uh, instead of uh, a nice cold beer. So unfortunately there is a large variety of bars to go to and we keep seeing tap handles everywhere. That's really hard to have to keep walking by them, but uh, we're gonna keep doing it. Mm. to go back and cool off for a little bit it is so hot today we had no appetite to like bring you yeah, some no. food but uh brian got a little bit of a i nap. got a nap in today about an hour long maybe a little longer than maybe that. an hour and a half <laughs> my eyes were closed for part of that time so now we are here at a market that is just right kind of in the street and uh looks like they have a lot of different options and stuff so we're excited to go kind of find something to try yeah no we're not we're not really up to date on our um, Malaysian food yet. No. If it even comes close to the Thai food that we've been eating the last couple months or the, the Vietnamese food, then we're in for a treat. Ooh. Thank you. That looks good. Well, 
is very good. It's probably the best fried rice I've had today anyway. But it's got some egg in there. It's got some spicy sauce. I'm going to mix that in and see how spicy I can get it. And uh, yeah, it looks tasty. I'm hungry. Okay, so that entire meal for the both of us, drinks included, was about $4.50. So that's what makes it all worth it to us. Yeah, and finding those those little, not only, so that was a market kind of, but you can also eat there during the day and they have those just all over the place. So if you don't want to spend a bunch of money by going into the restaurants and stuff like that, you can always find those little, I don't know, street corners and just grab some Yeah, just, uh, just street food. Very great. simple. Now we also got our snacks. Yes. We stopped for tomorrow. 7-Eleven. We stopped Another at 7-Eleven. Stop. <laughs> we got a journey tomorrow. We got yes. a five hour bus ride approximately. Mm -hmm. And where are we going? We are going to Kuala Lumpur. So we're actually looking forward to this bus ride. Uh, it sounds like it's a really nice bus and they say there's massage massagers on the seat. So yeah, so we'll, yeah see. we'll see how that goes. That'd be fantastic. Yeah. Now our place that we're staying here, we do want to mention that just because we we got it very, very last minute, so we really didn't know what to expect and didn't do a lot of research on it, but it is a great location and it is a great place and it, it was very affordable. We only paid, I think it was like $45 a night. So this was a quick a quick stop for us, but I would put it on your list if you're in the area to at least stop through and just spend a day and uh, check it out. Make sure and subscribe so that you can follow us along and see us in fall and more. Okay. Cheers. All right, cheers.